Hey, how's it going? Well, I learned that there are some people on this platform that you just can't criticize. I've known it for a number of others, but the person who I recently criticized, I had forgotten who he was, who he has been, and the mob mentality that, uh, that surrounds him. Um, there's a small handful of people on this platform that you can't criticize. And they can see, well, you know, if you had valid arguments, it doesn't matter how nuanced your arguments are. If you say anything about these people's idols, um, they, they throw a fit. Any sort of uh, virtue signal that the person that they practically worship, any sort of virtue signal they, they push is gold, you know, and it doesn't matter what they've done uh, in the process of virtue signaling. Um, none of that matters. The virtue signal is the only thing that matters. You know, you have to look at everything that these people do in good faith. Everything they do. If you take any of it in bad faith, then it, then you're you're a terrible person. It's like, okay, fine. So there are people you can't criticize here. And it's sad that, that, that such a, a small number of people have that much control, but they do. You know, these, this, the, these types of people stop others from stating their views. In fact, it stops some people, not even from, uh, from, it's not just from stating their views against someone, it's sometimes stating their views against something, you know. The anti-SJW mindset rules the roost here. You can you're you're not you're not rebelling against anything by by being an anti-SJW here on this platform. You're not you're not rebelling against anything. You're the norm. Sorry. And you know, looking at what Blair White has has shown recently when it comes to to stuff, uh, it's a good way to make money. You know, putting forth those views is a great way to make money. Being an asshole, having a, the views of an asshole, of someone who just doesn't give a shit, is a good way to make a lot of money. So to those of you who think you're being all rebellious for going all, uh, you know, Jordan Peterson and all this shit, you're not, you're not rebelling against shit. You know, the whole Jordan Peterson thing, it, it's about conformity, it's, a, it's about some, a lot of the shit that I've talked about in some of my other recent videos. Conformity, respect authority, um, do as you're told, box yourself in, you know. Yeah, that's not being rebellious. It's also not free thinking. But my point being, the people that are talking about the most esoteric things, the most honestly edgy things, are not coming from the anti-SJWs. That's not edgy, that's just, some of it's just stupid. Some of the, uh, uh, the, the race realism that's sneaking in here and there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not edgy, it's ideological. It's kind of traditional. It's old school. There's nothing that thought-provoking about suggesting we should go back to ways that were proven to be shitty for a lot of people. But, you know, the people who have the edgiest ideas, and some of these ideas are shitty, you know, but some of the people who have the edgiest ideas are the ones who are being harassed the most. Or they're also the ones who are, well, stating their views the least. Now, if 90% of what these people had to deal with, you know, 90, maybe even 99% of what these people had to deal with weren't just insults, you know, if, if most of what they were dealing with were rational arguments against what they were saying, then, you know, it would be silly for them to leave the platform or to, you know, shut their mouth, to, to not state their views. But the way it is right now, most of it's insults that they deal with. So why would they want to deal with that? They don't say much anymore. And the ones that, that do say stuff because they can put up with it are saying some of the most outrageous shit and they're not willing to actually argue any of it. You're never really going to get into deb a de debate with those people. The ones that have a thick enough of a skin, you're not going to get into a debate with them in a way that's probably going to achieve much. Especially when they look so poorly on the other side that they, they're, go, they're expecting to have to deflect insults all the time. You know? 
When they when you get a skin that's that thick, you're no longer reasonable. You never you can never get to the the, the heart of what someone feels. You've got all these walls you have to deal with because they're so used to having to have a thick skin. So that's what's happened here. So when people just get all up in arms about, you know, some asshole like like Alex Jones getting censored and you're just like it's the it's the end of every it's the end of the world, the end of free speech and I'm thinking I see you all don't care about all the people who have left this platform because they didn't want to put up with the shit. Well, that's on them. Well, it's still it's still a form of censorship. It's still people shutting up. It's still people not putting their views out there. It's just the whole thing is just weird. But, you know, if people want to lose respect for me because I back down, fine, lose respect for me. You know, I'm sure I'll lose a bunch more subscribers over it. Anyway.